Welcome back. Today's topic is going to be on an efficient way to solve the longest repeated substring problem. The longest repeated substring problem is another one of these fairly common problems in computer science. Lots of problems can actually be reduced to this problem, so it's important that we have an efficient way of solving it. The naive approach requires n squared time and a lot of space. What we want to do instead is use the information stored inside the longest common prefix array to yield a faster and also space efficient solution. Let's do an example. What is the longest repeated substring of the string abracadabra? Feel free to pause the video and figure it out yourself. The answer is the substring abra, which is the longest substring that appears at least twice in the string. So we call it the longest repeated substring. Here you can see the first instance of abra on the left. And now you can see the second repeated instance of abra on the right. Although these substrings are disjoint and do not overlap, in general, this is permitted for the longest repeated substring. Now let's solve the problem using a suffix array and an LCP array, which I have generated on the right hand side. I'll give you a moment to pause the video and inspect the LCP array in case you notice anything special in relation to the longest repeated substring, now that you already know what the answer is. Effectively, what we're looking for in the LCP array is the maximum value. Intuitively, we want to do this because we know that the suffixes are already sorted. So if two adjacent suffixes have a large longest common prefix value, then they share a good amount of characters with each other. We also know that if the LCP value at a certain index is greater than zero, then the string shared between the two adjacent suffixes is guaranteed to be repeated because it is common between two suffixes, each of which start at different locations in the string. So here again is abracadabra. Since our LCP value was four, we know that the first four characters from the suffix abracadabra forms one part of the repeated substring. Next, we know that the suffix above it, which shares the LCP value of four, also shares four characters present in that longest repeated substring. Now, I want to look at another interesting case. Can you find the longest repeated substring of the string A, B, A, B, B, A, A, B, A, A? Well, if you did, you would find out that you not only got one longest repeated substring, but two longest repeated substrings, since there can be ties. In a case like this, you're not looking for a single largest value, but all largest values that might exist. For the first maximum, you can see that we'll want the first three characters from the suffix A, B, A, B, B, A, A, B, A, A, and for the second maximum, we'll want the first three characters from the suffix B, A, A, B, A, A. Visually, for this first longest repeated substring, we have A, B, A, which appears at the start, and then A, B, A again, closer to the end. The other repeated substring is found using the second largest common prefix value, and its first occurrence is found here, and the second one just next to it. That is all for repeated substrings. Pretty easy once the suffix array and the LCP array have already been constructed. Here is a practice problem on CADIS if you want to tackle a longest repeated substring problem which requires you to have an efficient solution. Thank you again for watching, and I will catch you next time.